Oh gosh. Hello to everyone. Uh, all my good beans and potatoes. I am back this Werewolf Wednesday, lovely day. Uh, it is somewhat sunny today. I realized that I want to do the cover art, but I have not fin like finished or finalized the um, digital versions of a couple character references. But I'll do my best anyway. Hi, Obsidian, how are you? Yay! I'm happy you're here too! Oh, there's something in my eye. Uh, eyelashes attack! Yeah! Any hoodle! Here I am. The time for sketching is now. Let's see. Got a new phone. It seems to be connecting better. That's good. That's good. I'm happy that A, you got a new phone. And B, that you can tune in a little easier. It's nice it's always nice to have you here. If you do miss one, you're always welcome to watch the uh I'm pretty sure the VODs are in an archive on the Twitch channel for a certain amount of time. I will eventually start uploading them all to my YouTube channel. I just haven't quite figured out how to do that. <laughs> Mostly probably unedited. Unedited? Un edited? Yeah, unedited. Because I don't have editing software. I'm an art person, not a video person. <laughs> I draw things. <laughs> That's my job. Uh, any hoodle. So I figured I'd have a very anime poster-esque with like... Let's see, we got like... How many? How many? There are five of them. So... I mean, uh... Uh, this is literally your first and only experience with Twitch, so you have no idea where you'd access that? Ah, well, hmm. That does make it difficult. Um, it should be somewhere on my, like, channel, like, in the lower tabs below the, uh, The profile or below this video itself, I believe there's a little section. I think. Eh. <laughs> I'll have to look to see what the formatting of Twitch is now. Who knows? They may have changed it. They used to have a um They used to have an application, like a mobile application version that worked uh okay, and then they kind of stopped updating it for a while, and it still kind of works, but I don't... Eh? <laughs> Question mark? Uh, so I run Twitch usually through a web browser, and it, it works okay. Um... Yeah! Web browser. Web browser is friend. I'm gonna draw in a... Let's see. I like drawing in um, the tertiary colors because then my brain can like focus on the shape of the things and not like if I drew in all black it would just 
or sketched in all black, my brain would be too focused on like the shading and the coloring part of it. It's very weird. My brain is funky. You're on the app? Oh, 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 I see. Is this Doodle Day? A speci oh, uh, uh, there should be a title for the video. Uh, I am attempting to work on the, uh, at least the cover art for the first chapter of the webcomic. Um, for uh, the weight of scales, but I, I had realized that I don't have, like, I never finished doing the style uh, reference page for some of the main cast, and that does make it a little difficult. I mean, I've done um, plenty of doodles in my uh, sketchbook, but of course, some of those are way more detailed than I actually want to do for the webcomic. This is a little closer, but um, the key is being able to do it quickly without losing uh, scene clarity. Oop. <laughs> Hearts are good. <laughs> I'm allowed to show characters in their underwear. It's not a bannable offense. <laughs> uh, and then we've got... This is probably the most detailed uh, character portrait I've done for one of the main characters that the uh, the character the man trying to like label the levels of characters and their importantness is difficult. So like the two main protagonists will meet this character pretty quickly. And then he is, like, their mentor, so... This is, like, their Merlin, and he's a bit of an asshat, but I love him. He's a grumpy old man. He's got a lot to lose, so I, I, he's allowed to be a little grumpy. And, of course, Nox, our, our good doggo boy that's not entirely just a doggo. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I've got... This is my first attempt at making a comic again since, I think, middle school? Um, oh yeah, here's the one for for Drake. You would probably recognize some of these characters, Obsidian, just because you've been Leo and I's friend for so long. <laughs> this is once again an attempt at making a story featuring uh, uh, Leo and I's OCs, but a little bit more detached from our personal selves and more an actual story that's, you know, fun to read. But it is still self-indulgent since it's, you know, OCs that are so near and dear to us. And I mean, who doesn't want their OCs in a comic? Especially considering the D&D uh, &D campaign I'm running right now has so many characters in it. And that in and of itself is like writing several stories for each, uh, each player's character. And since so I have five players, I'm writing like five stories that are all catered to them in my world. And then this is my little like comfort story, if you will. 15% dog, 13% dragon, 5.5% shadow, 83% orange juice, and at least 14% gum. Last you remember was Sant, Lyris, and Drake. Ah, yes. Well, Drake is still here. Drake is still here. Uh, you know. He, uh... He has some... Issues in the prologue. <laughs> uh, which I will be posting once I get this cover art done. I'm gonna, uh, on Fur Affinity, I'll be posting this. Uh, the written version, sorry. Uh, I have up to 71 pages of written story and dialogue ready to go. Um, it just hasn't been converted into the webcomic format. Um, so it's in like a pseudo screenplay format. It's very wonky, but I want to post it anyway, just so that people can maybe get a feel for what this story is going to be like. Um, 
and that'll be up on Furfinity, Tumblr, uh, Archive of AO3, Archive of Our Own. Uh, and that's the plan. Will ones like gray or others like that appear? Uh, this is gray. This is Alexander Gray right here, actually. Yeah, this is gray. Um, I know it's it's funny seeing someone with a similar name to yourself. Uh, but yeah, this is Alexander Gray. I almost made his last name Grayson, but um, it it made me think too much of like Batman. <laughs> I was like, he's not at all like the characters of, from Batman. Like I can't do that to myself. Um, and yeah, there was the there's. I don't know if you were here for the whoops for the the antagonist drawings that I did last week but we have oh I forgot the name and I forgot the a at the end of her name it's Rovina Dace and uh, all these fun characters yeah not as much as Nightwing yeah <laughs> I don't want Nightwing uh, but yeah we've got a, a little small cast of important antagonists. Hello, Alf. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I'm just doing a little quick overview of characters that we have. Uh, Nikolai Dirge is a, a, a character obsidian that's somewhat based on like a mixture of Sant, your OC, and then... Uh, a character that I created for my Dungeons and Dragons campaign. So, I hope that's a fun little throwback for you. Yes, you did say you'd make it here. Welcome, welcome. I, I definitely want to mention that if you can't make it to the Wednesday streams this weekend, I am doing a trial run of the Saturday morning stream for uh, art and such. Uh... It'll be at 9.30 a.m. my time, which is Pacific time. So uh, I believe for people in Europe, that's like uh, six something p.m. But yeah, I want to make my streams a little bit more accessible for all the hemispheres. <laughs> but yeah, we're I got to I got to update this style page here for for Drake uh, and definitely update the style for for well Obsidian would know this character as Lyris but I actually took the L off because uh, Iris is an actual like name among my family members I think I have a great great aunt named Iris or something like that but yeah I, I figured I would have that work instead of it being so horribly obvious that it is, you know, my OC. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we've got Alexander Gray. We have, um, oh, you can't see my cursor probably, but we have, you know, Drake and Iris um, and Alexander being his sassy, grumpy man self. Um some some little doodle pages I did in my sketchbook to show sort of the attitudes and um, personalities of the characters uh, yeah lots of things I've been working on this for like several years now just trying to suss out the style and the uh... oh you'll you'll be at the the gym elf it's all good. It goes from 9.30 to noon, so um, that's probably like 6.30 to, yeah, let's say 9. To about like 9 p.m. So if you're at the gym till like almost 10 o'clock, then you might miss it. But the, the VODs should be on the channel somewhere. Obsidian was asking where they were. I don't entirely know the layout. It depends on if you're on a browser or the mobile version. But they are there somewhere. Uh, I will also be starting to upload all the past videos 
uh, of the streams, unedited because I don't have editing software. Uh, they're going to go up on my YouTube channel, which is probably only got one video up on it right now. But uh, that's because I accidentally pressed a button one time that was like, when you're finished recording, auto upload to YouTube. And I'm like, oh, no, there it goes. I hope I don't get, uh, you know, <laughs> copyright problems, but we'll see. I don't even know which episode it is, but any hoodle. Today, we're going to try and get the chapter one um, cover art done so that I can upload the written version of that chapter up to several places. It'll definitely be, you know, for Affinity, you know, AO3 and Tumblr. Woo! That's where those will be, or that's where it will be. I can't show you the document because it is a different window, but I have so many pages. You guys, just so many pages I've written. This is my comfort story. It's, it's good. It's a good time. At least I think it is. It's definitely a story that I would have liked to have read on those, uh, I would say those boring times between classes or whatever when I was a college student. Because it's definitely meant to be an older teen to, like, young adult style story. I definitely have adjusted the ages of the characters to kind of reflect that. Because again, it's I have I've been working on this story for like six years. This particular version of this story. Six years. Woo! But yeah, I I I am excited. We'll just we'll just say that much. Uh, yeah, I haven't actually, like, come up with an entire idea for, like, what I want here. Other than... Um, sort of, I definitely want someone to be holding a little bundle of scales. I don't know whether I want that to be Drake or Iris in this situation. But I definitely also want to show, like, the duality of Drake's situation, where he has his, like, human form and his draconic form. You're going to step away, find those videos, and make a layout for steps on the app. Alright. That sounds good. Have fun. <laughs> Uh, oh good, my eraser is giant. I don't always like when it's giant, but for this particular moment, I do. Whee! Back and forth between tools. Woo! <laughs> kind of difficult because actually what I can do does not look to be accessible in any way on the app. Ah, all right. Well, darn.
I guess this is only for the first chapter. So the first chapter should have stuff that happens in it. Let's see. It's potato time, everybody. Like, I gotta draw this in potato so that I don't go insane. <laughs> Shiny shit. I'm gonna have Iris over here. It's gonna be kind of hard because the way I write, especially because it's gonna be a webcomic, the written version of this story tends to go like back and forth between like perspectives of who, like whose inner thoughts you can hear, read, you know what I mean. Trying a couple new techniques today, too, which is going to be interesting. Mm. We also got the five. Um. Five villains to be up here. Uh, but I like the idea of doing like a triangle. Because there's the fucking portal. Sorry, I swear a lot. Uh. tendril shit and all of that bull crap um and the 
first chapter, I'm pretty sure, the hardest part about writing The Forgotten is you had to try and figure out if you were going to have the same narrator or multiple and who they were. Yeah, I... It's really hard for me not to want to be in multiple characters' heads because I literally have to in order to write the story. But I also love... Um, the irony of the audience knowing stuff that the characters don't. So, like, I want to give the audience a lot of information so that when I do choose to not give information, it is for, like, it, it's more impactful, if that makes sense. I At least that's kind of how I see it. I'm by no means a professional writer, but uh, also the webcomic version is not going to have so many inner thoughts um, like written out, you know, in speech bubble form or whatever format I, I do it in. Um, it'll be more show, don't tell at that point through just facial expressions and body language. It's part of the reason I have chosen to really do a webcomic for this story is because, um, I really feel it could benefit from it. Instead of just being written. I haven't abandoned the written one at all. I don't like this front view right now. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that thing where it's like a cutout. I'll change and adjust as we go here. like the portal. Hmm. Sad face, brownie face. I don't typically like things being broken straight down the middle either, so... Position's hired. It's going to be cool. It's going to step away again for a moment. All right. <laughs> I wish there were timestamps for the uh, uh, the chat for me. There aren't, which is a little bummer. Because I feel bad if I like miss somebody's comment because I'm focusing on the art part for too long. 
and then I'm just like, whoopsie. Did not mean to ignore you. I want to acknowledge you. I want you to feel heard. the library. Perhaps in his hand is the book. The book. Because that's when they discover um, all of the stuff that Alexander wrote about magic. This is gonna be messy as heck, but <laughs> we'll get through it. I'm sure. something for this because otherwise it's going to be horribly difficult. I do like the idea of there being like a little pile of scales on the book though. I think that'd be nice. Just as like a throw to the actual title. <laughs> Fuck having anything underneath this. That's what it's for, is a cutoff. Hmm. Ooh, actually, brain blast here. I don't like geometric nonsense. We could have. face in the magic maybe mm. and there's a scar here a scar there and a crisscross scar here Hmm. But I'm 
Except when he was wearing armor at that time. I only have a few references to the armor. I don't have a lot of it. I'm trying to make it simple. Oops. section piece thing. That is the Void of Stars. And then I should probably have some of the scales sort of fluttering around. Because that's absolutely a thing that happens. need there to be space for like the title and info so like interesting if I just shortened the whole title to the word scales, but I absolutely don't want to do that because it's a little too simple. <laughs> would be funny though. I can spell words. No, I can't spell words. No. Eh! almost is multiple entendres because it's like weight also equals weight and then scales uh, both equal the like actual physical scales from Drake's Draconic form as well as like balancing scales. Those. So like that's the fun part about at least that I thought I was being clever. <laughs> 
was clever. But everyone thinks they're clever when they make titles for things. Hmm. Ignore my horrible lettering. This is why I'm not a typographer. What if? Lines of action that go to the character. Yay! Almost looks like a moon. <laughs> And then below, I'll have all the like. Mm. Info. Maybe. <laughs> I literally have to put all the info and like trigger warnings and stuff on one small thumbnail for Fur Affinity. And I am not looking forward to that. And how well that's gonna go over. You exist! Welcome back.
You don't need anything more than a yes or no. Is our friend from Monday's Troubles doing a debate? Uh, yes. I, I believe so. Um, I have not checked on them today. Um, I do know they will be streaming later this evening when they get off of work. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. I appreciate you checking in. I like making sure my friends are A-OK. -okay. Been in their shoes and know how important reaching out. Yeah. And I checked in on both peoples to make sure they were okay. Um, and I think everything's okay as far as I'm aware. Both just need to kind of have some time to think. Oh. Any portal smaller? Oh boy. Yes, my family is finally deciding to text me about Mother's Day. Mm.
<sighs> Heck it. Let's just... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. We're just going to turn this into the lines. The real lines. And then I want... Oh no, that's title. Title. Or... Uh, words. We'll actually change that to be what it needs to be later. Into the folder you go. I require a grid. Grid, please. Special ruler. Snap to grid if I can. Grid created. I can, or well, thing created. I can turn the grid off. to use. <laughs> oh, where is my stabilization at? Why are we ridiculous? What is happening? Uh, what... not have that. Oh, there it is. Turn down. I don't need you to be so, so very up. I cannot circle today. Oh, <laughs> I can work with that. You know what I need to do? I need to make this not so bright. That would help. <laughs> oh, this is going to be awkward. You 
jump. I should be doing this in Vector. Oh, darn it. We've been running three ads here, and the first one starts with the sound of someone getting a text, and I keep wondering why such how I am texting you through here. Yeah, no, I, I cannot control whatever the heck the ads are. <laughs> I have no idea what they will be. Um... I have the whole, um, I have the whole stream set to whatever the defaults are at the moment when it comes to ads. I apologize if they are super frequent. I have some control over that, but, um, I do get ad revenue and I do need it at the moment as, um, my family is currently going through some stuff, and I gotta help in some way. They're not bad? Well, that's good. Maybe I'll just... Well, I appreciate you watching and helping. I do. today and I need you to stop texting me
could you run a channel that's 100% ads? Mm, no. Uh, the settings have a maximum. Um, I don't know what that maximum is. But yeah. And I think I get like... Five cents or something. I can't remember. It's not a lot, but something is better than nothing. Because, like, otherwise I have to rely on subscription stuff. Because every person who has a subscription um, and continues a subscription, it's like $3.50 for a subscription or something like that. It's either two or three, I can't remember. But, um... Uh, it's a few cents per ad, not per ad break. Um, I would have to open my, uh, settings stuff, and that would probably disrupt the stream. But I can always check later. Um, essentially... It's a few cents per ad, as far as I know. And then per person that subscribes, it's like two or three dollars. I need to zoom back out. Let me zoom out, please. Thank you. Da -da -da. I need the ruler to go away already. A bummer. Goodbye, ruler. You know what? I should probably do this on another layer just to be sure. I don't want to fuck it up. Yes. Went from an iPhone 7 to a 12. Oh, wow, that's a jump. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, phones are weird. I do not understand wh what prompts them sometimes to just be like, no, you don't need that notification anymore, right? You don't need that. And I'm just like, yeah, actually, I kind of, I do want that. I, I kind of need that. <laughs> Poor, 
poor boy the the awful Sasuke hair that's really hard to draw from any angle other than the side. That's what I get. It's fine. We don't need real physics. We don't need real hair physics here. It actually gives me like, <sighs> there's an old anime with like a cyborg. I don't know how many people remember Cyborg 009, but I do. And the hair is kind of like that. It's very, um, oh man, early 70s, 80s, I think. This is why I was bummed I didn't have the style um, thing set up yet. Because. swept back. I don't know what I'm doing. You remember Cyborg uh, 009? That's quite the thing. Wind. Nope. Yeah, see, I had the part on the other side, too. <laughs> hair is annoying. Like designing hair for a character that you have to literally draw all the time. <sighs> you and Amy were watching. 07 Ghoul the most recent? I don't know what that is. I'm sorry.
probably the same time. Probably? It sounds like that naming convention. Don't want him to look like a troll doll because that would be silliness. My bones do not like things happening right now. Yeah, my portals in my story work very strangely, but I like them. I think they're fun. They're like, alive. No, they're attached to something that's alive, so. It makes sense. Anyway, sir, I need you to be eager.
You love fun magics. Living portals. Yeah. Uh, in my story, um, all magic is kind of created by this <laughs> outer god. I don't know what to call it. A being beyond time and time and space uh, that is named uh, Aether. And it is, I haven't given it a like form yet necessarily, like I haven't drawn it, but it, um, its job, well, not really its job, but it has distributed parts of itself throughout the multiverse, like not necessarily multiverse, but throughout multiple worlds um, in the form of magic energy. And Earth has some, and other worlds have some. Uh, some have more than others, and um, it is a finite resource. So um, people that live in these worlds can use the magic, but if they don't have any way of like giving it back, then the magic will dwindle and go away forever. Um, this creature, Aether, is very nature-based, and part of the reason why Earth's magic is disappearing is because people have like forgotten about you know taking care of the planet and so you know industrialization technological advances the distraction of those things has made it so that like people have forgotten it. you know it's sort of like how um like people have basically forgotten a lot of things in folklore as well and um, I don't know where I was going with that. Dang it. I got into brain thoughts about drawing. Um, right. So the way that magic can work is that like there are ley line rivers on whatever planet or world you're on. And you can use magic by familiarizing the energy that is technically also alive. Because it's parts of Aether, the creature. Um, you could familiarize it with things or objects or people. And the more it's familiar with those things, the easier it is to manipulate the energy to do what you want. So, for instance, a catalyst of some kind that the magic is familiar with from whatever other either other people trying to practice magic using it or whatever um so like a a magic catalyst can be something that is from a creature that is already uh magical and you just take parts of that creature and use that as a catalyst uh, cause it already, like the magic is already in the creature. Thus the energy from Aether, the creature would be familiar with it. You love when fantasy settings are like, you think this is about the threat of dragons? Psych, it's about the conservation and <laughs> lessening effects of colonialism. Hey, 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 I mean, yeah, psych, <laughs> surprise. Hey, I am, I like throwing some life lessons and stuff. I grew up on Studio Ghibli movings, movies, all right? I gotta, I gotta throw that stuff in there somewhere. <laughs> Hi, Buchanan. But yeah, I, uh... Magic is like, like I said, it's a living entity, and any part of it can be imbued into a thing, either by birth or by force. And, um... So, like, magic creatures, like cryptids and monsters and fairies and stuff from our folklore are beings born with within that magic energy. Like, they were either born very close to it or evolved next to it in some way. Uh, so they just ha inherently have that magic. And then um, humans do not normally, like... Well, they had magic, but they kind of squandered it away in the sense that they've forgotten about it and there is a select few people who are trying to keep magic alive by force by taking it from 
magic creatures and other things to, you know, preserve their own s sources of magic. They're, they're poaching, basically. And the a huge thing about this story is that dragons, in general, are just chock full of frickin' magic. They are just, like, magic battery bestie. And, um... There aren't any dragons left on Earth or in the world that Earth is a part of because they all freaking bailed when this organization started essentially genociding their people. So they're like, uh, okay, we're leaving this plane of exi existence. We are out. Goodbye. And they leave to a world called Amythia. And Amythia is literally like, oh perfect stereotype isekai medieval like fantasy world where there is magic everywhere there is just you know all you can think of and drake the main character here is you know a um no he he's normally very uh anthropomorphic dragon and he oh, I don't know how much I can say because there's spoilery crap in there for the story. Uh, let's just say it's in the first, it's in the prologue. Drake gets isekai to our modern world from Amythia. And it happens because he was in battle with like a lich and needed to heckin' get out of there and he crushes this magic stone. Not knowing what it was, he was hoping it was just gonna explode. Um, but it didn't. It didn't explode. Instead, it transported him. And because he was so injured, the magic forces that be, essentially um, Aether, the creature of magic, the creature that governs magic, was like, mm, you're one of my really magical creatures, and you're about to go to a place that's going to try to harvest you for everything you are. Let's let's make it so it's a little harder for them to find you. And it strips away his draconic form and seals it away, sort of. So he ends up having this human form for a majority of the first, like, third? Yeah, first third of what I have story-wise so far. Until he learns that he can access the magic on Earth and reclaim his form. But in order to keep the form, he has to do some other spoilery stuff. Uh, and, you know, along the way, he literally gets um, found by... Oh my gosh, I can't... Nothing is labeled right. He gets found by Iris here, who is... Just a regular human. She, I apologize. This is definitely a self-insert comic for me, but uh, she's based on me. Uh, she's an artist. She's having a hard time with her work and such, and um, is in desperate need of like inspiration, or else you know her clients will leave, and she won't have money, and you know she'll get kicked out of her apartment and stuff. And, you know, she's at a park one day and lightning strikes out in the middle of a, uh, the, the sort of nearby forest. And she is like, oh, crap, it's going to rain. I should probably get all my art supplies out of, you know, weather danger. So, uh, she just... I don't want to... Too much detail. Okay. It, she finds Drake at a point and is essentially forced by BS I want it to happen <laughs> uh, magic fate type bullcrap to take him home and take care of him for a while. And she's not very trustworthy of him at first because of past experiences. And he is doing his best to make sure she is not, like, freaked out. And uh, eventually they get kind of used to each other. And Drake discovers that libraries exist <laughs> on uh, Earth. 
Uh, but he was expecting something super grand and awesome, like they were back in Amythia, and he ends up seeing this library and is so sad and disappointed. <laughs> it's just like, what is this sad dungeon that is a box made of tan and faded couches? And, uh, you know, he's like, I don't even, I don't even know where to start. Uh, researching what I need to research and Iris does her best to show him how keywords work <laughs> on a you know database uh, and he starts getting all researchy and discovers a book that really isn't supposed to be in the library uh, that is written by good old uh, Alexander Gray here who is title his official title uh, is Archmage, but he's in hiding and does not go by that title anymore. And basically, this book that they find is one of his, like, textbooks. Because he was a teacher at one point. And it ended up in, you know, mundane people library, which is bad. So the, the two main protagonists end up tracking down Alexander and pestering the cripes out of him. Be like, we know what's up, okay? Like, <laughs> magic is real and Drake needs it to get back home. And there's fun interactions there. I can't, I don't want to say too much. Like I said, I'm going to be putting the entire um, uh, what I have written on multiple sites. Basically, as soon as I get this uh, thumbnail created for the first, like, chapter section stuff because for affinity requires a thumbnail of some sort and I don't want to steal other people's art for that I'm not a stealer so yeah <laughs> I make my own art and then it'll be up on for affinity archive of our own and tumblr I have toured the great fortresses of warlords, heard the wails from the oubliette, but it, but this modernist cube of beige is simply evil. I mean, you're not entirely wrong. The way I've described it, uh, in in written format is <laughs> very like gloomy. You've got the buzzing of fluorescent lights that flicker, and like just faded carpet as far as the eyes can see it's sort of a, co a commentary on how our public public libraries are not like well loved as much anymore as they used to be and um i <laughs> i have a lot of like hidden commentary i guess in this story but uh yeah i i the few times I've been to a public library, I thought they were great because, like, I could just sit and read and do whatever, and they have comics there now, and it's, it's cool, but, like, I have never really uh, spent... I feel like libraries need more love. I don't know. I just... With the way that education and stuff is going... I am just so worried for for our world. Uh, anyway, existentialism aside, uh, I'm also very inspired by like visuals from um, comics and anime, like Card Captor Sakura, anything from Clamp, really, and then recently recently uh, witch hat atelier and all of that you're loving this commentary yeah I, i'm glad <laughs> i want people to know they must know uh. yeah uh, people need to appreciate libraries in general and like get inspired like literally i feel like if any motto this story could have is get inspired and just try stuff like as safely as you can try stuff like do stuff go out and 
this isn't like a touch grass type situation, but it's more like a, uh, uh, I don't know, like, it's okay to not be perfect at something when you first start, like, because there's a lot of confidence issues from both the uh, two main protagonists uh, that I sort of have them work through, through character development and such, um, you know, Iris has self-confidence issues with uh, her self-worth and her ability to, you know, uh, I mean, she she's a freelancer like I am, so there's always those worries of, you know, have I made my customer happy? Did I you know, mess up somehow? Am I selling myself too short? Am I selling myself too high? Uh, you know, and also like the, the burnout, like the, it, it, my story addresses burnout and the need to kind of step back from things sometimes and, um, try other activities to sort of refresh yourself. Um, Iris does not believe in magic to begin with, though she was like she's always loved the idea of magical things and creatures and folklore but never truly believed that they actually exist until drake comes into her life and sort of turns everything upside down by his relentless pursuit of finding the magic that earth has and getting back home and you know <laughs> And in the process, both of them have to learn how to use Earth's magic. Oh, God. Uh, it's all convoluted and upside down. But, eh. Uh, like, Drake has insecurities of, like, he doesn't like looking weak. And he has pride issues. So, he's freaking beat to hell at the prologue. And he just refuses to like let Iris help him out in the beginning like she's just trying to be a good Samaritan even though she's like you're a stranger I don't really trust you but I'm not gonna leave you bleeding on the forest floor that sounds like an asshole thing to do so uh <laughs> we're gonna find you some medical help <laughs> and he's like no no I'm fine no leave me it's cool no 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 and she's like no no we're going like we're getting you off the freaking floor <laughs> let's see well i'm uh, sorry i don't mean to ignore chat what'd you say uh buchanan we got you got a fantasy wild west setting that you're working on where magic is fueled by a resource rendered from the in an indigenous lesser dragon species being hunted to extinction by a dragon slaying industry that's basically a cross between whalers and Standard oil. Wow, very. I have a very similar problem in my story. Hooray. Uh, ben will, hey, kids, are you sad but don't know why? Well, there's a reason for that. Yeah, it's very true. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. I, 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 this story has basically just been a commentary on things that I and friends of mine have had to deal with in general like as creative people <laughs> and magic art in and of itself is kind of like magic to me because you are making something kind of from nothing um and uh I just think people should just try art or any kind of creative thing just to just to see if they like it and to express themselves because everybody needs to express themselves. This is so messy. Oh my goodness. This is definitely not the clean lines. I should probably actually have the Thing going this way. Uh, but yeah, Buchanan. Um, hi, Leo. Uh, the um, the sort of antagonistic group I have is, is the Black Ring Order, and yes, the acronym is Bro because I think it's funny. 
but um, the Black Ring Order's entire function is like they are humans who are aware that magic is dwindling on Earth and they are trying to preserve it, but the way they're doing it is cruel and inhumane. And they think too much of themselves. It didn't used to be like that. But um, they they ended up switching to that when it when it seemed like magic was going to disappear. So they were like, oh, crap, Oli. Uh, time to go into weird poaching mode. And yeah. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain that without spoilers. <laughs> I, I just hope that when I put the written version up, it's interesting enough that it uh, will attract people to the webcomic when I eventually get that started as well. Yeah. <laughs> I do find it funny, though, that uh, you and I are on similar wavelengths with that. <laughs> this is going to be hella messy, but that's fine. Paper. Uh, yes, Obsidian, I am seeing your... I saw art is 100% magic without question. And then, uh... Yes. What'd you say? People in power corrupting their original altruistic goals when the specific resource that fuels their domination over society is threatened? Uh-huh! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what a novel concept. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they don't like it when stuff, you know, the stuff that makes them powerful starts to go away. They don't like it. Let's see. What'd you say, Leo? In Mickey voice. Oh boy! Here I go harvesting the essence of the innocent again! Uh, yeah, <laughs> very much. Yeah, I also have uh, Dark Crystal vibes in this, in the sense that the whole thing with the catalysts... Um, You said it should be a small stylus. Behold, the deity of all, Aether, the almighty stylus? Oh wow, I wasn't expecting that. This isn't even like normal sized one. It's noticeably smaller. Hmm. Well, okay then. <laughs> Just like a teeny tiny little, like, that looks funny. <laughs> oh dear. Just like a tiny art stylus that just floats in the void of the in-between space between worlds it just hangs out the sparkliest it sparkles and that's that's ether and it just sort of subconsciously talks to you and you just you just hear its voice in your head it's like i am ether no but <laughs> that would be funny <laughs> No, Aether is definitely um, <sighs> the way I imagine Aether is sort of like a mix between a uh, giant silk moth type creature that literally the silk that it lef left behind or like the dust or something that it's left behind in each world that it's visited is what becomes the magic of each world. I haven't entirely nailed that down yet, like the specifics of how Aether deposited magic everywhere. But um, I like the idea of silken threads because it also kind of plays into the idea of like energy ribbons and other things that I've described how energy look like magic looks. Um, 
There's also a mechanic where, uh, I say mechanic, but there is a function of using a catalyst as an ink and making tattoos from that ink that allow a person to reuse their own, like, body as a battery for whatever magic they're trying to do. My true form would drive you mad with its non-Euclidean nature. Instead, I have chosen a form your mind can comprehend, one that is familiar and brings you comfort. It is the Wacom tablet you lost two months ago when you decided to draw in the living room. <laughs> As I stare at my Wacom tablet in the corner of the room. <laughs> I have sadly abandoned my Wacom Cintiq. Um due to uh it stopped really being mobile because the battery uh inflated and was very very hot to the point where it was burning my skin and there's not enough um cooling processes or hardware on that device for it to you know not be scalding hot so a friend of mine literally surgically removed the bloated battery from the device because it was pushing the screen out and um it works fine it just can't be mobile anymore it has to be plugged in to to function and i i just remember you you know Drawing on the couch was fun, but also not good for my body. I'm like 32 years old. So, wait, am I 32 or 33? What a year is this? 2023? Oh god, I'm 33. Anywho, <laughs> I'm getting older, and spending six hours drawing on the couch is not a good idea. Yeah, Leo's like, yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I'm 33. But, Sitting on the couch for six hours drawing is not great for my body. So I upgraded from having a Wacom Mobile Cintiq. And now I have an XP Pen, like, drawing monitor for my actual desktop computer, which I absolutely love. Sure, it's not nearly as fast or convenient, but my god, I am so much more comfortable. My body doesn't hate me. <laughs> Three trillion years old. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. I'm 30 or 40 years old and I do not need this. Yeah. Exactly. Every once in a while I go back looking at it and I do regret taking uh, Clip Studio off of it. I basically factory reset the thing in case I was, you know, I was hoping maybe someone might buy it from me. Because uh, it's just sitting collecting dust. Well, it's in a special cover at the moment, so it's not collecting dust or getting harmed. But you know what I mean. It is sad and not being used. <laughs> uh, all right, I think. I'm going to mergerificate these and make a slightly cleaner vector version. We're gonna clean things up. I also want to eat my taro bun because I am hungry. So once again, I'm eating on stream, but I'm hypoglycemic, y'all. I need to eat snacks or I will pass out. <laughs> so soft bread crunching whatever ASMR by accident. <laughs> delicious, delicious taro bun from wonderful places near where Leo works. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. 
back in art school, well, not really art school, but back in college, they used to tell us, make your art big. Because you can zoom in and it's harder to mess up stuff that's big comparatively to stuff that's small. Oh, I want... <sighs> do I want to do all that nonsense with the... Um... Mirror again, I don't know. Crunching. Is that why you all tune in for my ASMR, my food ASMR? Feels like I'm chewing on a very soft sponge. Mm. I'm gonna need to turn stabilization up like crazy. Did you ever send to tell you finally printed your beauty in the eye? Oh, no, you didn't. That's awesome. How was working with um, printing places? I don't know how to say that, I guess. <laughs> This isn't gonna be super clean either. Where? Oh well. It'll at least be cleaner than before. This thumbnail is going to be like the size of a quarter, so I'm not entirely worried about it, but I'm worried about it enough. Like I said, I have a lot of the similar sort of quirks that my main character has for a reason. Oh, that's not gonna be good. <clears throat> there we go. You just red bubbled it? Ah, yes. I used to have stuff. Whoopsie. I used to have stuff on red bubble. I think I still do. But I'm probably going to actually take a lot of it off because of the way that Redbubble now works and the fees and stuff. Do not want. Do not want to deal with it. Not anymore. Okay, the book is going to be one layer book. New vector layer. Hmm. And then I'm going to draw all the swooshy lines. They're in the front. Um, 
warm Lolo light. I have the power of Vector! <laughs> I can just make lines all over the place. And then, and then, I can just go, <laughs> goodbye. Pen, pen. That'll do. Try not to create too many tangents here, but what can you do? Ow. Tasty bun. I do hope that, um, you all think about checking out my story once it's up. I'll probably make an announcement on um, all the different uh, places that I normally post when I'm streaming. So Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Facebook. I don't really post anything on Instagram, mostly because I know my parents watch my Instagram and I don't necessarily want them knowing that I'm making a mildly smutty romance adventure. <laughs> they don't need to know. It's fine. They don't have to know everything I do. Okay, so this is magic, the front magic. Roger and magic. Yay, next. A slightly different color. Mostly just so that I don't go insane. Trying to figure out what layer everything is on. So we'll do that one first. Hmm. Why is the taper so weird? Hello? What's happening? I don't know what's going on. It's being weird. Thank you. 
chat line go away. This is almost a little too bright, but I know what's going on. What's your favorite genre? Smutty romance adventures. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, they're my favorite, too. There, now I can actually see what I'm doing. Ah, much better. <clears throat> Back to crazy colors. Mm. Not enough. Uh, is the mapping pen gonna do better at that? Maybe. I want thick and thin lines, like better, more variation. It's hard not to make it look like uh, the magic is wrapping around. Because it's not. It's sort of coming out of this. Pen. Pen. to explain what I'm trying to make the effect of is it's, it's almost like saran wrap being pulled too tight. Hmm? Howdy! Hi Van Wolf! How are you? Whoops. Switching between the tools too fast. Poor computer doesn't know what to do. Today was UG. Aww. I'm sorry. Well, I hope that hanging out here is you no know, better. <laughs> Star Wars themed session sounds fun.
Alright. And now I need... Um, the portal itself. Which... Technically, I should just go behind. Up. <clears throat> I'm working kind of backwards, but... It's cool. It doesn't entirely matter. Ooh. I could use a perfect circle, but I want it to look kind of organic. most in the front, so that needs to be up here. And this is the portal. Portal! And this is line art death. Um. Deedly deedly deedly. I call this the Drake layer? but it's the human one. And then I'm gonna make another one that's like a drake, like dragon one, and we're gonna use some layering masks. Oh no, did my session get hecked up? Hello? Uh-oh. What happened? My bitrate died. Oh no, yeah, I just saw. It was like, welcome to the chat room. Like, uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> that means something with the internet had a problem. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry, everybody. I, uh. My internet is being weird. Hello! You're barely in. <laughs> you can lurk. Yes, please lurk. Welcome. Happy to have you. <laughs> we are. We are drawing cover art for a novel slash webcomic that I'm creating. <laughs> I don't know why I have this sub view open right now. It needs to be something else. But it's fine. I ended up not needing them for this cover. I should be locking all the layers I'm not using for safety. And I'm going to put the grid back up so I can see where I put the ruler. Hmm. Let's see. Full shift. Hooray. Ruler created. <clears throat> Move towards the sun. I'm right handed, so my entire body is trying to resist just scooting my canvas all the way to the right side of my screen. <coughs> oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I think I got some of the flour in my nose from the taro bun. <laughs> Surprise! I sneeze. I 
guess it's a good thing I didn't hold in my sneeze. Because whenever I hold in my sneeze, it comes out as like a little squeaky noise. Safe tea? Why would you put tea in a safe? It's a good question. It is the sacred tea. Yes, yeah, so I'm definitely still uh doing doing the art stuff. I don't recognize your username though, Malico Fox. So I assume you know me in real life. <laughs> He's actually, I guess, behind the foreground magic. But I'm gonna need that to be off so I can see what I'm doing. Woo! Don't hold in sneezes. No! <laughs> I try not to, but sometimes it just comes out as like a little noise, and I don't even know if my microphone picked that up, but. After having a cold for like a week and a half, I think my body got used to not giving crap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I scream, Leo. I scream. Oh, wait a minute. Turn that off. <laughs> we don't want the line art to snap to the grid. No, no, no. No, no. No. Also, we can turn the grid off now that I have my thing <clears throat> slightly off compared to previous center but it's not a big deal not worried about it <coughs> what is that with the tentacles <laughs> many years ago you made a perler of my character when I commission you- Oh my gosh! Egyptian- Oh, yeah! Yeah, yeah, yeah! No, hi! I know exactly who you are! I still have that, uh, Perler badge. It is- <laughs> Believe it or not, it's actually in this room with me. I don't remember where I hung it, but I kind of- I'm slowly being able to hang more of the personalized, like, furry artwork and stuff. Uh, around the room due to new house circumstances. We'll put those in quotes. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm hopefully going to be able to start putting more of the lovely art from everybody up and like so people can see it because <laughs> I'm so tired of living with blank walls. Other than, you know, my crafting shelf behind me, which is an absolute disaster. But, you know, what can you do about that? Yay! I'm glad. I, it's still, it's one of my, like, favorite pieces that I've done in the sense of, like, how much time I spent. Oh, no. <laughs> of course it's add time. Where's the indicator for that? <clears throat> oh, it's like there. Ah! Hold on. It'll tell me. It'll tell me when it's done. A prime sub? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what the settings are for if you have Amazon Prime subscription based stuff. <clears throat> but yes it should tell me when it stops I moved this indicator all the way over to the left means you have prime Ta -da! surprise it's me <laughs> Well, I'm glad you found me. I think it helps that I have hashtags on my, um, like, on my videos now for categories. Because I think before, people weren't finding me specifically because I just avoided putting certain tags down. Ooh, that's too thick. Uh, 
but yeah. <laughs> nudge, nudge. Where's my... Uh, we're gonna go through all my little drawings here real fast, because until I make a proper... Um, okay. Until I make a proper like character reference sheet for this guy, things are gonna be a little weird. That gives him cat mouth. Whoops. Frowny face. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Van Wolf, for the gifting a sub to Malico Fox. Da da ba ba. Hi, Chaosy! I didn't see you come in! Welcome! It's okay. I forget what day it is all the time. <laughs> no more ads! Yeah! If I... I'm sure there's a way I can gift people subs somehow to my channel. I just don't know how to do that. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> I am not a truly professional streamer yet. <laughs> I do love the thick and thin this pen does. It makes me so pleased. I'm so pleased. Oh no, it's not lining up because I am trying to work too far. Does VIP and artist badge do it? I don't know. I have the um. Uh, on the Spaguli stream, I have the artist thing, but I don't think it does. Because I'm not subscribed to Spaguli's channel. I ain't got money for that. I love my friends, so I will watch their stream. Speaking of, if you get tired of seeing my artwork sometime around, I think, 6.30 or 7 o'clock, Spaguli will be streaming tonight as well. Uh, I believe he is streaming art and sculpting in Blender, if anyone is interested in Blender fun. You want to learn Blender? I do too. Is it possible to see too much of my art? I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> I hope it doesn't get boring. <laughs> That's my biggest thing is I really don't want you guys to be bored. Is it possible to learn this power? I definitely need to start doing some tutorials. I think Saturdays might be my tutorial days. So this Saturday I'm going to be adding a uh, an early morning stream block. A, so that some folks from like Europe can tune into my streams because I have had some of them request uh, some the ability. Because <laughs> it's... Oh, dark 30 over there right now. They're nine hours ahead. So I feel bad that they can't see what is happening. And, uh, yeah. And so, yeah, 9.30 a.m. on Saturday. I might do tutorial streams then. 
And if tutorials, there's not one that I can think of, I'll probably just continue whatever art didn't get finished on Wednesdays. It was fun messing around with Blender. You like it, but it's also weird and disappointing because there are things you feel you can do in physical sculpting better and easier than Blender. Yes, I can absolutely agree with that because I have physical sculpting skills that I know how to like manipulate with my two hands at the same time. And because Blender is only like, you have one thing that manipulates, like there's only one point of manipulation instead of two. Even with mirroring, it kind of helps, but yeah. Uh, I, I like sculpting in real life because I can like feel it. I can feel the clay move. In Blender, it's kind of nice that I don't have to like worry about symmetry. It can do the symmetry for me, but I don't know. I'm, I'm still learning how to sculpt in Blender myself, so I'm learning the pros and cons of it as I go. Tutorials and tea with Fanimal Creations. I mean, there will absolutely be tea because 9.30 in the morning is a time where my brain is still learning to be awake. <laughs> You're unlikely to make many of those, your night owl. I usually am as well. Uh, but, you know, I, I, I want to I wanna give my friends across the pond a chance. More like one man manipulation point versus ten. Yeah, I mean my whole each, each fingy morning tutorials. That's cute. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... My pen. There we are. Yeah. Uh, um. That looks funky. I know it does. I can tell. Stop. There we go. Um. Oh my gosh! I lost all my train of thought. That's cool. <laughs> Whoops. It's fine. I'll get it back eventually. I'll remember what I was talking about. <laughs> Someday. Nah, that's not the right pressure. supposed to be kind of spiky. Yeah. Oh, hi. Welcome home. <laughs> Leo kisses. <laughs> How was work? Yeah. Hmm. They might be training you in those things so that you get a an understanding of like other processes that are gonna like someone has uh, Van Wolf redeemed to get up and stretch so I'm stretching now
It kicked you out for a moment. Oh no, I'm sorry, Obsidian. You want VR tools that allow you to sculpt in real life and have it copy the movements in Blender? That would be cool. Yes, reward po my reward points are basically, I am a Tamagotchi. Please make sure I don't die. <laughs> I am terrible at taking care of myself. You know how I know? There are crumbs on my seat. <laughs> And I got up. The crumbs. <laughs> I brushed them away. I still haven't finished my taro bun. Is that a thing? I don't know. <laughs> oh, is what a thing? Blender Meta Quest. That sounds cool. Oh, it's the three Blender using the head, the VR headset. I think there is something. Yeah, there is. I believe there is a a thing for VR and uh, sculpting in VR. Or there is one at least for drawing in VR, which kind of ends up being 3D drawings. It's, I don't remember what it's called though. Oh, good night. Is it, is it good night time for, for Obsidian? <laughs> the doctor. Oh, it might be, it might be time, family time for him. Uh, I do have a snack, Van Wolf. I, <laughs> I, I've been slowly munching on a, um, a, a, a taro bun. It's like a very large, it's like the size of my face. Uh, it's filled with like taro paste in the middle. And then the dough is very spongy and fluffy and has like taro swirls in it. I don't know. It's very tasty. <laughs> so I don't know. Although there's some loose flour on the end that keeps getting in my nose. <laughs> no starve, much snack. Yes. I also need to make a redeem for don't forget to save. I just saved, but there should definitely be a don't forget to save the document. <laughs> Hmm. Pen? Are we in pen mode or eraser mode right now? Pen. A face cam? Time in the highlight reel. Oh god. <laughs> I would like to eventually get a face cam so that I can have a proper like VTuber. Other than just the PNG kind here. Um, but that requires money. And time that I do not have. A potato duel! <laughs> Leo, why? <laughs> Taro bun doodle. All right, hold on. This is going to end up being a permanent part of this. All right, all right, all right. Potato. These become permanent parts of the uh, file. Potato. Doodle. My husband is torturing me. <laughs> Isn't there a phone app or something? Yes, uh, that works on an iPhone. I do not have an iPhone, <laughs> sadly. I am an Android user. How hard would it be to convert what I'm using to a webcam-based model? Would I have to do everything over again? Yeah, probably, because most of those uh, models are not... Um, this is a little bit further than three-quarter view, and then most of those programs work for facing directly the camera, like head-on. 
Uh, so front facing, kind of like uh, Drake here in this drawing. Because it lines up the eyes, the mouth, and eyebrows, and things like that. There are plenty of Android apps that use the phone as a, cam a webcam. Probably! That's I could probably find some, yeah. Android gang! Yeah. Alright, potato doodle. You want a taro bun. Alright, well, the taro bun... slowly been get it eated. It's mostly eaten, but I figured you'd want, you know, more than that. You waited till I ate my reference. It's not entirely gone. It's over here still. I just, it's not all of it. Taro bun. <laughs> it is done. <laughs> there are munchy munches out of it. Because I have eaten <laughs> a majority of it. <laughs> Anyone else with this with channel points to burn could get a potato doodle commission? Yeah. Are you the only one to do those thus far? I I think Van Wolf did do one. Yeah. Technically has like a gap. Between. Anyway. <laughs> Taro bun. <laughs> Oh no! Now you chibi of myself munching on it? Alright. I need a different color. Not too much different. I'm gonna blend in with the dang taro bun. <laughs> uh, let's see. was that brush? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, it does not like that color. That's okay though. <laughs> I know what my own avatar looks like, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Last time you did something, you got ears wrong. It happens, yeah. <laughs> You can't see them, but there's teeth there. <laughs> Success. <laughs> the potato is forever. Yay. <laughs> Art signature, blah, 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 and then a date. <laughs> All right, the potato is saved. And the layer is now locked. It's going to disappear, but it's going to be there forever. I also spelled the word doodle wrong, which is hilarious to me. <laughs> Raises the question, what would my avatar's favorite food be? Oh my goodness gracious. Well, so, I was, um, there was a, a badge commission that I got a long time ago that was like, that I bought from an artist and they were like, oh, well I can have your character eating their favorite food. And I was like, oh, that would be awesome. And then I was like, oh crud, what is my favorite food? Oh no. <laughs> and what I came up with was... Um, for, for that badge in particular, I came up with, like, steak, because I love, um, 
This is going to sound really weird, but I like the sensation of tearing meat with my teeth. <laughs> so, um, you know, rip and tear until it is done. Uh, so I have a little badge of my character munching, like, kind of pulling on a, a raw steak. I don't eat raw meat, but... Uh, it was a fun. It was fun for the gag. So I would say my favorite is uh, a tie between beef ribs and uh, like a, a good ribeye steak. You met someone who ate raw meat. No, that gives me all of the bad vibes, <laughs> just because. All I can think of is like, hmm, there is so much that can go wrong there. <laughs> Ice cream. Uh, so much, so much that could go wrong. t-shirt. I hate that. No. Step. Good enough. And then these can go away because they're behind a book. 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 Clothing is gonna be skin tight for reasons. it though. The magic of vectors. Eh. Except it only erases on one side. Eh. I'm probably gonna turn off the ruler it's making things awful now that i've got the general face part done go away ruler if you're butchering it myself it's probably fine but outside of really fresh meat yeah no 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 so much nope so much nope that's danger that's how you end up with like horrible gut diseases do you want tapeworms? This is how you get tapeworms. Or salmonella. Or many other things. Like, no. Poor choices. Like yesterday, do you know? I'm excited, because I'm hoping I can at least get this flat-colored... Anime hair time, yeah! Wind does stuff! Oh gosh, Leo, do you know what this reminds me of? Dally from uh, Wakfu. His hair that's like two feet tall and spiky. Say one more time. 
This hair is reasonable. Yes, I do. There's there is a reasonable forehead to chin ratio. Reminds you of a Facebook post you saw. Someone who posted about their favorite way to make chicken was to cook it medium rare. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, no. No, that's that's danger. <laughs> that's danger. Please do not. That's how you end up so very sick. Ooh, just thinking about that. Oh, whoops. That's not what I wanted either. Whatever. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to look like wind is pushing the hair back. Which I hope is conveyed properly. <laughs> Just makes you glad you ignored the bullies and kept reading books. Yes, read the books. So this is the human version. So I need to now make a duplicate of this layer. Dupe. Lock this one. And now I need to... Hold on. Let's... Opacity... Then lock. I need this layer to go away. Yeah. No. Wait. Hmm. What I do need to do is I do need to do this. Gonna do some stuff. It's going to change the anatomy a little bit on this side specifically. face so I'm only gonna change the parts that are gonna be seen through the magic we're still in vector hooray Drawing dragons the way I draw them in front view is very hard for me. Because uh. we have a perspective problem. Dragon heads are fun. There are so many possible shapes. There's lots of fun things. My problem is that making those shapes make sense 
in this context for this ARP is difficult. Because, like, <coughs> technically, the confines of his face... Where's my magic, actually? Oh, see, you won't even see that. Never mind. I don't even know why I'm bothering. It's fine. This is why you turn your layers on and off, everybody. DM for the D&D &D group is doing a lot of typing? Uh-oh. 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 Maybe not that fluffy. This is going to be funky because there are two different things happening. I do find it funny that I'm putting this much effort into something that's going to be about the size of a quarter. But it's fine. I really need to like look at good armor references, but this is good enough for now. Besides, when I do the version for the comic, it has to be done fast anyway, so simplified shapes is best.
No! I'm so sorry, your session is canceled again. Dang. That sucks. We'll see. We'll see if I do this right. Now, don't necessarily need clothes gap, but... Pixel, that's correct. I see what happened here. What is happening? Why can't I draw? means you can hang out here. That's true. I'm always happy to have you. I mean, that does cool things to the line art, but not... No. 
No more reference for you. What now? I want it to actually that? Line art not doing what I want? <laughs> I learned this trick today and I am pleased to know that it works. <laughs> oh dear. No more gaps in the line art. Da -ba -da 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 -da. All right. If I can isolate this, then. Invert the selected area. How do I do? Hmm. Is that still selected? If I make new layer and fill that with a different thing. It's supposed to did the opposite of what I wanted. Ugh. I want the outside part to disappear. Hmm. We're doing some layer experiments at the moment.
So then something. supposed to do a thing that it's not doing. You're supposed to... trying to do this like the easy way and it's not actually being easy for me <laughs> which is kind of a pain in the turkis um like it's disappearing the area but I want it to disappear the other part not selection. Do what I wanted. You're supposed to. Like, it's at least disappearing the correct part now. But... It's not applying it to the layer below. So, if I... I don't understand. 
Uh, whatever. Frick. Destroy. We're just gonna do it the manual way, I guess. Create a layer mask. Uh, just trying to do this. Yeah. Not actually erasing it. I promise. I was just hoping I wouldn't have to do it this way. Because then I could color it all in one fell swoop. But no, 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 that's not allowed. Okay. Cool. Grand. I'm going to need like uh, a duplicate of this. that like is weirdly merged hmm maybe not but we'll see so many layers yay okay I'm gonna have to start organizing these into proper layer folders now. This for my comic? Yes! So I am going to be publishing the written version of um, the story up on a couple of websites and um, one of them being Furfinity and they require a thumbnail of some sort that's like the title of the work and then some you know a short uh, it's not necessary to have the like information of what the story entails uh, subcategory wise or genre wise on the thumbnail but I did notice that is a trend so I figure I would do the same and have like here's the title and you know there's transformation stuff in here, there's romance, there's smut, there's adventure, there's drama, like all that kind of stuff is going to be, you know, in tiny little letters on here. Uh, so I have up to 71 pages of story and dialogue written. Uh, after that, up to almost 100 pages is 
just sort of work in progress scene thoughts and things. Uh, but I don't want to necessarily write too much further ahead until I have started turning some of those pages into webcomic pages. So the written story is going to be up, but there will the, the webcomic is the ultimate like end goal for this story. I have I have no idea if that makes any sense. <laughs> Bing, bee, dee, doo, doo. What's happening? Oh, it's ad time. Bleh. Ba -da -da. Ba -ba -da. Used to do proofreading. Seems short enough. If you want someone to look. I mean, sure. If you'd like. Um, it's in a pseudo script format so that I can determine and discern things that are meant for the comic format, but, uh, yeah. If you don't mind the weird format, then feel free? <laughs> I can always email it to you or something. Shouldn't be a problem. Mainly just check for continuity and spelling and grammar mistakes. Well, I mean, that, yeah. I'm sure there are plenty of those just because I am who I am. And I know I have issues with tense, like having it present tense or past tense. But, um. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> uh, it would be good to have a beta reader of some sort. Hmm. <laughs> 
All right. Do do do. Do 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 do. Hooray! Organizing of the layers is good. because it's vector Blah. I cry Woo! most mistakes are unnoticeable more stuff like accidentally taking oh wait accidentally talking to characters in conversation that aren't in the scene or referencing a plot point that shouldn't be known about yet happy to say I've played a hand in fixing some of my favorite stories I still go back to and read sometimes nice well that's good I'm gonna have to rasterize this if I want to make it a different color. I have to make sure. I don't know if you guys can even see that. You kind of can. <laughs> I'm just organizing the layers. Okay. But we have tangent ishness happening here, and it's driver crazy. So, I'm gonna. No, that's probably not good either. took the whole thing. And moved it. Are we finally out of ad hell? I sure hope so.
I'm trying to create like a nice balance between positive and negative space. Sure, the ad breaks are abominable. Nice, very good. Portal fill. Meh. I hope it looks like that stuff's being torn out of a hole, because that's what it's kind of supposed to look like. Like I was saying, it's supposed to kind of look like saran wrap that's been um, pulled too tight. Or like silk threads or something. that a, like, a, like a cobweb that's really flat and soft that's been broken. Yeah. 
that's not what I wanted at all. Looks like what I'm describing. Yes, it'll definitely become more pronounced as I add more, for sure. <laughs> let's um there we go <laughs> that also works <laughs> though that tool is fun <laughs> It's literally called stars. section off the uh, the void Isn't that fun? I love that. That's fun to do. Rasterize you. Set to glow. Um. Okay. 
Now why is it doing that? Hmm. That is incorrect. Why is it doing this? Why? 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 Mm, oh. Because I'm silly. I'm a silly Billy. Not sure why. Actually, mm, I know what to do. I know what to do. Uh. Huh? Did I not? Should be doing what I want. Mm. You're supposed to stop at a certain point. Whatever, I'll fix it. being weird. I wonder if it's because of something else that I did for the fill layers. Hmm. I must confess. I do not know why it's doing that. Uh, let's see. I can do... No, not area scaling. Stop that. Hmm. Strangeness. You had uh, you had an idea recently for a warlock subclass. Oh. Explain. Tell me your secrets.
I'll leave that alone for now. Because I need to be able to see. Could be on the same layer as um, needs to be here. Bone folder. Said so you're sure it's been done before. Could it be the patron of the Ublex? Oh god. A slime becomes sentient and forms a parasitic relationship with the PC. Would act basically like a symbiote. Oh! I've seen something like that, but with mimics. Where it's like a, a mimic that's been trained, or like an ooze, because a long time ago, I guess, oozes and mimics were a similar type of creature class. I don't remember entirely, but um, yeah, they they used essentially slimes and mimics to create prosthetics for themselves, for people, for PCs. Like a hearing aid, prosthetic arm or leg or something like that. <clears throat> At least that's where I've seen it. Or how I've seen it. But how would your symbiote work, Van Wolf? Leo, what did you want to do for dinner? That works. Whenever, whenever you feel like it. I 
I'm a fool. In, in, in. Red muffins. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, back into Ad Hell we go. So mechanically, it'd be similar to the Artificer Armorer. Less spells, some custom invocations would add things like camouflage and weapons growing from limbs. That sounds cool. Cool thing. A fair amount of the original invocations would work thematically. Nice! Well, that sounds fun. Here's a druid subclass. Circle of the slime. Slime rancher? Oh god. That'd be hilarious. Not sure why it's slightly green, but whatever. Thank you. 
Oopsie. No, I didn't want that color in there. Horrible thing. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. It's like we have a problem. Something is not it's not glowy the same way. I fixed it. Apologize once again for the eating noises.
focused on between there I want to do Is there? Many too close together. Go back. No, not density. How many? Fine. Horrible thing. Oh, why are you big? Oh, because you're at the weird... smaller. It's harder to do. Maybe it's better if I don't have that. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Wait, what did I just move? What just moved? I don't want it in the folder. I want it above the folder. Thank you.
this. I'm not really sure what that is. Hmm. Not sure. Weird brush. Hmm. Sparkles and shit. Duplicate. Assembler, go! Hmm. That kind of glitter. Where's the other one? Hmm. 
Mm, welcome back. Trying to see what on earth some of these effects are. Oh no, 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 no. Huh. What was that one then? all like this? It's probably because it's all like this. And... Probably because it was over here, wasn't it? Hmm. Strange. Oh well. Expecting that I'd finish it in time? With how fast I work, yeah. I mean, sometimes it can be pretty fast, but this time not so much. Not sure why. Probably because I had to actually do the sketch phase first, which takes time.
spots. Move the foreground so I can see what I am doing. <coughs> All right. <coughs> I'm going to need Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
once I turn off the background, I'm definitely going to be able to see where there's some stuff missing. <clears throat> now we're getting somewhere. Oh, my spine.
think in reverse, and this is hard. Perhaps it will help me. If I did the light source first. Hmm.
Pasta? I can't see anything. There is only art. Oh, thank you. I'm sure you have.
だ。ゲームだだだだ Alright, it's time to munch on some food again. Food munching time! <laughs> yum nom nom. Neil made me some. I don't even know what kind of noodle this is. A big brown cylinder! <laughs> Mmm, mystery noodles, yes. Very mystery. Mysterio. that got filled and that wasn't supposed to be. That's fine though.
should be all of it. And now I can lock that.
Hello! Welcome. Whoopsie. That's not what I wanted to do. I'm doing well. I'm doing quite well. Today has gone well. <laughs> I don't know how else to say that. To be honest. Just kind of going through, filling in empty spaces. Empty spaces. gonna look wonky with only part of it shaded but that part shaded uh, foreground magic okay Even do anything because it's not technically. Wanted. Oh, you know what? I bet you I gotta put it. No, we're not trying to rename you. Trying to move you up here. Still not doing that. Okay, well. I will just make a copy of this and move it to this folder. Yeah. You saw a webtoon and immediately rushed over? Oh gosh. <laughs> well, uh, this is for my webcomic that I have been well I will be working on <laughs> I have the written story up to 71 pages and some more that's just work in progress bullet point hell but you know as you do hi sparkle <laughs> Battle is needed. Uh oh. Hi! <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I'm trying to see if I can figure out a, a thing here. No, not subtract. Add might work. Whoa. Oh, really? Could also work. Been thinking of starting a webtoon yourself? Nice! This will actually be my first time um, doing one since like middle school. I don't know if I can count the um, the really small 
like five panel comic that I did in college. <laughs> I don't know if I can count that one. I actually really like how Vivid Light messes with the line like that. Oh, we did do a really cringy OC tournament, but when was that? Wasn't that middle school? Or was that high school? Oh, dang. All right, well then, I've done... I've done comics in high school. <laughs> I am doing pretty well. This is cover art for the, um, the prologue and first chapter. I'm going to be putting out the written version in the next week or so here. And, um, that way people can kind of read what the story is about ahead of time uh, while I'm actually working on the web comic part of it. I'm hoping that I can, like, hype up the webcomic by letting people read the sort of script for it. I apologize for the noodle eating ASMR. <laughs> Webtoon is a specific platform, um, so technically it's not a webtoon, but I understand the terminology enough to say it's fine. Um, web webtoon is a webcomic hosting application and website. Um, but I will be hosting the webcomic on a mixture of Tumblr and my own um, website. Fanimalcreations.com So it will probably not be on Webtoon because there is romance and occasional smut so that's not allowed on webtoon specifically so can't put it there uh, there is a plan or at least an idea to do a live reading for the webcomic with uh, people voicing the characters once I've got at least the prologue and first couple chapters drawn and uploaded. Yes, live read hype. <laughs> Literally. R-E-E-D as well. <laughs> Yes, live read. Live. Live read! <laughs> yeah, you'll have to send me some, um... Some voice clips, Van Wolf. So I know what you sound like. He is alive. Oh, yes. Sketchy times. Um... I'm trying to remember what tab my stuff was on. <laughs> I gotta go back and rename some of my files because it's one of those things where it's like, ah, oh, yes, character art number one, character art number two, and I'm like, dang it, me, label your crap. <laughs> I don't know what on earth which character this is. Hmm.
know that for now. If I want to know what you sound like, you could hop in a Discord call. Eh, I prefer to keep my Discord stuff uh, private. Like, I have a, a Fanimal Creations Discord, but uh, it's not really set up properly. <laughs> I tried to connect it to a Patreon at one point, and then the Patreon was... I, I took it down, and then now the Patreon's back up, but minus the uh, Discord access, because I didn't want to have to deal with it. I don't want to have to worry about non-adult people in my space. <laughs> But, uh, you can always, you have my email, Van Wolf. You could always email me a clip of you talking. It doesn't have to be, uh, super great microphone wise. Uh, you can direct call friends, yeah. You're about to hit 30. Aha! A fellow 30 person success. I'm trying to decide whether I want to shape the stuff in there or not. Um, is that confusing? Um, yeah, I definitely want to make sure that the only people who could access the the web comic, especially the not safe for work chapters. <laughs> are adults and we'll only do a live reading of like probably the prologue and the first couple chapters i do have difficulty designating chapters because it's sort of like a long stream of consciousness <laughs> when it comes to the flow of time um and i never quite know where i should be like oh no this is the end of a chapter and the start of a new one like i know there are sort of rules for that in writing somewhere but i have never tried to look it up so <laughs> shrug oh yeah i can actually do a background now um i can unlock this i need to import an image. <laughs> Not that. Where's my architecture? Hmm. Maybe not that either. Pull a godfather and cut to black. Yeah, so I've actually uh, got the idea that the Not Safe for Work chapters will be completely separated and you'll have to go to like a different link or something that verifies your age before reading those chapters. Uh, for the written version, um, if I choose to put all the way up to the not safe for work chapters on like AO3 and stuff, you can just click past them. Like the whole the whole series will be rated explicit just for safety's sake, but uh, particular chapters in the title will be labeled not safe for work so people who don't want to read that can just skip that chapter and it'll sort of be like a fade to black type deal 
Oh, you guys can't see all my little textures that I'm looking through. <laughs> mm, I don't want the stormy sky. I do kind of like that one. Is that going to be too big? Oh gosh, dang it. Okay, I'm gonna lock all the things I don't want this to touch. Stop touching. Damn it. Oh, it's because I'm pressing up, not. Hmm. Can I. Can I move this around? Thank you. Definitely do some tonal shifting. No, don't do that. Can I? No, I have to rasterize you first. Oof. Don't want to. <laughs> what was the internet? What was the internet joke? Just cut to the narrator saying, and then they fucked! <laughs> then immediately move on to the next scene. I wish. from that. So right. Ba 
Ah. Hey, look, it almost creates its own, um... <laughs> what is that called? Chromatic aberration, or whatever. Great map, you're not doing what I want. No, 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 no. Not duplicate. Delete. <laughs> Fool.
explosion. <laughs> oh god, the color of death.
I think that looks cool. Always remember to save your work. Ah. Get my wrist to break here. Hmm. More noodles. Now I have to figure out where I'm going to put the words. I can do what I did last time. <clears throat> and take the calligraphy brush. So we're going to make it an obnoxious color so that I can see. I'm not using a script font. They're horrible. Hard to read. Good copper plate gothic doesn't look too bad. I need it to be an obnoxious color. All right. Is the word weight? too big so I could really if I last time I remember it was late December sitting out in the parking lot out of day out there or down here obviously not that color oh I don't have the scales on the piece of paper <laughs> They're supposed to be a little like dragon scales stuck on the piece of paper. Um, It's like 
this would be maximum contrast. But I can do this also. And that can be a color as well. So. Personally, I feel like it works better up here. But that's just me. And then these two corners can be for the 18 plus symbol and the um, I don't know, wherever else.
Sorry, everybody. I'm just playing with colors at the moment. Let's see. Touch from 
Where's the strength? Goodness. one. Why is this locked? 
unlock. Yeah. Hello, you're here. Hello. Friend ran out. Oh my goodness. Hello. Welcome. This is what we're working on. Oh, what do we have here? We have the cover art for the upcoming webtoon slash also written version of the story that I'll be releasing on uh, Fur Affinity, Tumblr, AO3, my website, etc. This is just the cover for like the prologue and the first couple chapters. Yes, ooh. So the hope is that uh, releasing the written version for people to read will hype them up for the webcomic. And to also hype up the webcomic, uh, there is a plan to do a live reading. Once I've got a couple of the chapters fully drawn and ready to go. Where's the words at? My words. I think it's back. It's better back being bright. We like contrast. We like contrast. Contrast. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, for affinity requires a kind of thumbnail for any sort of text document writings. So I figured I would do that. And that's what this is. Where's my... Oh, not you. This thing. Hmm. Have I 
Have we been? Well, there's certainly stuff happening. Home stuff is happening. Um, my family's dog has been uh, diagnosed with a kind of bone cancer in his mouth, so we're dealing with that now. Um, not really sure what we're going to do about it because I can't really help them financially. But I'll do what I can. Um, this doggo's a good boy. Hogan's a good boy. He's just a little dumb sometimes. And he's also 10 years old, so. Bumperoni. Hydration check! I haven't had one the whole stream. How surprising. I just realized it's nine and I usually end the stream around now, but. Hmm. Yeah. Not entirely ready to do so, so yeah. I need to get up and stretch also. Alright, alright, I'm getting up. I'm doing the getting up. <sighs> yeah. Oh. Goodness gracious. My bones. Oh. These are my bones. I have them. Ah, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. oh, okay. Bits are stretched. I'm also slowly eating noodles. <laughs> the music is like you're playing an interactive story. Well, that's fun. Yes, 18 plus. What makes it 18 plus? Uh, cause there's smut in it, <laughs> sexes, <laughs> to answer your question. It's not the whole point of the comic, but <laughs> it's there. So I gotta, you know, I gotta put the warnings up. I don't want to get ruined. <laughs> Thank you. 
save work. <laughs> and then the other corner is to put my little who it's by and whatnot. Hmm. I've never used block bench. I saw your messages. I've never used block bench before, so I'm not really sure. But I have done like textures and stuff for Minecraft skins using the skin decks. And it's like 3D coloring program. <laughs> Yeah, focus is definitely a, a thing. I need... to find... the creature scales. Do I have... that kind. I don't need the ribbon kind. Where is... Claws... More claws... Hmm. Seems really easy to learn. Playing with blocks, but then you also have to make a model skeleton. That's the the rigging part. <laughs> yeah. How to do the model. Probably find someone else to do all the animations. Yeah. I uh I do not know enough. They have a bunch of free models on the mods discord. A few good ones, but none you personally would use. I see. These are more like fish scales, but they will do what I need.
Nope. It's funny because I know exactly whose scale pattern that is. Malim. Yes, next scar. Um, Drake actually has quite a few scars. Um, that's on the wrong. Oh no, that is the right side. Um, in the beginning of the comic, uh, it's explained what a bunch of the markings on his skin are. There's like two markings where his wings used to be. Um, some battle scars, because he's, you know, an adventurer. Shit happens when you adventure. I just thought the idea would be cool. Those don't work for that. What does this transformation look like? Um, did I? Do I have that? I have a. Um, <laughs> I do have a potato. But I was trying to do like a small. Um, transformation sequence at least for the face I haven't done a whole lot of drawing for the webcomic itself yet but I've done a whole lot of writing you gonna go get some needed nap needed sleepy sleep oh sparkle I will be doing a um a Saturday morning stream at 9 30 a.m. for me which is like 6 30 p.m. for Europe so, if you want, you can tune into that when it's not sleepy time. <laughs> yeah! Wanted to make it a little easier for some of you all who are on that side of the world. So I feel bad. Yeah, go get some sleep, Sparkle. Go get some sleep. <laughs> sleep well. Yes, my Animorph cover.
like Goss and Blur. It's fun. Funny story. You made an old lady think she was dying or going to die at work? Oh no, why? How? What? Why? Porque. I asked, I read your, uh, your, uh, what you said, Zexis, just, you, you convinced someone that sh they were dying? <laughs> I am confused. Why? No? You made an old lady think she was dying or going to die at work the other day. No? I am confused. Oh, you work at a hospital. Duh. This makes sense now. You bring food to people, and when you bring the food to the patient, you have to ask for a last name and birthday. Okay. When you asked this lady who was already confused and probably high on all the drugs she was on. She, oh, you asked a little too fast. Whoopsie.
asked her for her last name and birthday. She looked at me with concerned look and said to you, Is it my last birthday? Oh no! Poor old lady. <laughs> Is it my last? Let 
I see what's happening. Yay for effects and stuff. Just keep messing with it. <laughs> I gotta cut. Yeah, I do. I gotta put my name on it. <laughs> That's what. Uh, this is for.
Ta-da! Tis me. Ta-da, ta-da! Parental advisory. I mean, that's what this is mostly for. And it's going to go up on FA with a bunch of warnings on it. A anywhere it's going, it's going to have warnings all over it. Do not want any weirdness. <laughs> Do not want any miners showing up being like, I want to read the sexy comic. Oh, like the one they put on CDs, the big black and white one. <laughs> The one they used to put in front of Adult Swim moon, uh, and Toonami and stuff sometimes. Mm-hmm. My mom used to be like, oh no. It must mean porn is coming on. I'm like, it's Toonami, it's anime. There's nothing to really worry about other than DBZ and the people punching each other. Mm. Yeah, OG Toonami. Toonami is still around. They just had um an anniversary of some kind, I believe. realize that the title card kind of looks a little bit like the Guild Wars 2 slash Final Fantasy logo where it's got a something wispy and swooshy behind the words. Sorry, it's like down in the corner. Cause like the thumbnails on Fur Affinity are like this big for me. It's only like two inches by two inches. 
So I want it to be readable. It's just a squeezed little corner anyway. What I say, my story is focused mostly on furry themes. I'm wondering because you were thinking you could probably cross post on other sites. Um, I mean, possibly. Um, there is, you know, an anthropomorphic dragon that is the main character. Though he, at the beginning of the story, he doesn't get to have his dragonness. Um. There's a werewolf. Um, there is a lot of shape shifting in general.
It's not on a layer that has anything beneath it! Whee! You have obtained a chocolate shake. Ooh. Well, that sounds yummy. You have to wait for it to de thaw. Uh. Pierces. Add time. Perhaps I can just do the multiply instead. Why is it red like that? It has to be because of this.
You're gonna head off to bed? All right, sleep well. Yeah, I'll send you uh, the story when I get the chance. I sure can. Yeah, I hope, <laughs> I hope you don't hate his character. <laughs> I think. We're gonna do what we call a merge visual visible to new layer. Turn everything off. So it's not so taxing on the computer. But yeah, I think that's a pretty good cover. Very few character tropes you dislike. Well, that's good. <laughs> well, have a good night, Van Wolf. I think it's actually a good. It's almost 10 o'clock. And I think this is pretty good. This is a really good thumbnail. Yes. I am. I hope. I would hope so. <laughs> but yeah, this shall be the... It looks good, like, close up and far away, which is what I wanted. Because, like, the thumbnail view on a lot of places make it really small. But you can more or less keep, still read at least the 18 plus and the title really small. And then, you know. Uh, then it just looks real good <laughs> as you get closer. Like it only starts to rasterize about here. 300 DPI, baby. <laughs> A brownie face. I didn't even actually put any other shadows on his face other than, like, just a dull version of the normal colors and then added a big glowy BS everywhere else. <laughs> yeah, I like how it's like translucent overlay. And like, I mean, the hair is the same, more or less, no matter which version of himself he is. But yeah. There it is. I hope you all enjoy the story when it comes out. <laughs> I know I'm excited. <laughs> oh wait, no, I have the perfect emo for this. I am excited, <laughs> very excited. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. <coughs> Excuse me. I think it's time to end the stream. Very well to all. Thank you for coming. I will be streaming again Saturday morning at 9.30 a.m. Uh, for Pacific Standard Time or whatever. I don't know if it's... It's California time. <laughs> whatever it normally is here. And, uh, yeah. I'll see y'all on Saturday. Or if not, I'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye. Good night.